I tend to ignore uh, national polls, but the president's approval ratings are at historic lows. The swing state polling looks good, but a lot of folks, particularly black folks, don't trust the polling. I don't trust the polling. I got on national TV and said Hillary Clinton was going to win 330 electoral votes. Uh, and I was made out to be a liar. I still have PTSD from 2016. As a political scientist, though, what do you make of the recent string of positive polling for Vice President Biden? Well, uh, I have said this on the air, and I say this, look, these, these polls ain't loyal, right? You can't, you cannot, <laughs> you can't trust polling this far out, right? It's not a good idea, but this is what I can say and in my area of expertise, and thank you for mentioning that, it's not just I have a doctorate in political science, my area of expertise is campaign management. Like that's actually like what I do. And I tell people that your national polls aren't nearly as important as your state polls and state polls aren't reliable, right? Because they don't happen as often. So CNN, MSNBC, Fox, they're gonna poll nationally every other week, basically. But can you trust the Michigan poll? Can you trust uh, the, the, the Wisconsin poll? Can you trust the Pennsylvania poll? So I would say this, Structurally, everything has been in place for any Democrat with a pulse to beat Donald Trump in 2020. I mean, he, he got he, he lost a popular vote by three million in 2016. He got wiped out in 2018. The economy was going to slow down even before the pandemic. But now you have a pandemic. You have national protests for Black Lives Matter that are actually popular amongst whites and independents, yep. right? Actually polling at over 50% for whites and independents. Only took us seven years to get people to say Black Lives Matter, but we're here and, now. And, and a couple of people being murdered on, on national television. Hey. Um, but so he is in really, really, really difficult shape for reelection. And Donald Trump will not get reelected unless he cheats. Regardless, of, I mean, like that's so the only mean, way he can win. But you saw him go after Bubba Wallace. He keeps calling it the China virus. I mean, mm -hmm. have we officially reached the smash and grab phase of this campaign where the president just simply doesn't give a f and is catering to the worst elements of us? When did he ever? <laughs> <laughs>